Hello everyone and uh, welcome to Stocking Flower Making by Janet's Creative Flowers. Uh, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to make lilies. Uh, the single layered lily and the uh, double layered lily. Yeah, so now we are going to see how to make uh, different types of lilies. I have uh, three lilies here, a single layered lily, a double layered lily and a zigzag lily or a big lily. Okay, first we will see the materials. First we need stocking cloth. I have two colors pink and white. We have pollens. This is called uh, cherry pollens. Then I have long pollens also called as stamen. And then thread to tie the petals. Containers to make rings. I have one small and one little big. Plier to cut the wires. Scissors. Green floral tape. And flower making wires. So we will start. First take the little big ring not the small not the smallest one. We are we are making single layered lily. Now take a wire like this and wrap it around and make a ring. Yeah a circle then we have to wrap this stack stocking cloth take the wire like this circle and wrap the stocking cloth hold it tight here and tie it with the wire yeah, I'll keep the materials little aside and make some space here okay and then tie one more knot Yeah. So we made one petal. So for the single layer lily we need five petals. So I have all five petals here. One, two, three, four and five. These are the five petals. Now we need to make, now we will take the cherry pollen. take a wire cut the wire and then fold it into two take few pollens and you have to insert the pollens inside the wires like this yeah like this yeah. then tie it with a green tape apply green tape like this no need to cover the entire wire as of now just make this like this okay now we are going to tie the petals we have five petals here which you have made take one petal keep the pollens like this and tie them Yeah. 
Now take the next petal, bend it a little like this okay. and the second petal has to start from the from the back side of first petal not from the front from the from behind like this in some angle like this again tie the knot <coughs> adjust a little then the third petal bend it a little make some angle like this and start it from the back side of second petal okay yeah so if you see first petal second is started from behind of uh, the back side of first and the third is started from the back side of second okay now i'll tie the fourth petal same process yeah like this and then the fifth petal same yeah then wrap the thread around uh, apply little pressure because uh, otherwise uh, it will become loose after some time and wrap it like this tie the knot and cut it okay okay fine we'll give the shape first we will uh, apply the green tape to it like this green tape has to be wrapped properly the thread should not be seen yeah okay now what we have to do is now we have five petals start from any petal and on the uh, upper side of the petal use your thumb and index finger and thumb up index down and pull the petal little and bend it backwards okay so this is the difference second petal pull and bend it backwards third petal pull a little bend it backwards fourth same fifth same yeah so this is what a single layer lily mm -hmm. five petals just you have to pull it little up like this and little bend it back to give a shape to the petal so the best thing about stocking flowers is you can bend it the way you want so this is what a single layered lily yeah okay now we'll make a double layered lily same process okay here i'm using two colors the uh, white as the inner circle and the pink as the outer circle same process we'll go for it yeah. i'm using two rings one little small this is for the white and this is for the pink okay i have two wires here i'll make circles the way we made earlier okay. a small circle and a little big circle yeah okay we'll keep this aside wrap the cloth yeah first we'll wrap for the white ring 
this is the okay white ring uh, yeah okay so exact dimensions of ring is not necessary because uh, it's up to you you want to make a bigger flower take a uh, want to make a bigger flower take a bigger ring if you want to make a small flower take a small ring that's it no no need of exact dimensions it's up to you how much big flower you want to make Okay, so I have a uh, few petals already made. The white I have five, and the uh, pink I have six. Because why we why I need six here? Because the outer circle is little little bigger than the inner circle. So I need six rings. Again, take one wire fold it into two take some pollens the way we did earlier like this like this and uh, yeah always try to use pliers scissors don't use your teeth that's not a good practice okay so we are going to make a double layer lily so first we will uh, tie the inner circle flowers and then the outer circle hmm? okay same the way we did earlier like this take the thread yeah done take the second petal Start it from back side of the first. Yeah. Okay. Take the third, bend it a little, start from the back side of second. Take the fourth petal. And take the fifth petal. When you tie the flowers it's like they are little when you tie the petals they are like little up and down here and there but the way i said the the best thing about stocking flowers is you can bend it the way you want so you don't need to worry they are like little um, inside or back side one when pe one petal is this side one petal is that side it's not going to make any uh, uh, problem for us okay so now one two three four five same hold on the tip index finger sorry thumb finger index finger index down thumb up and pull and bend it back pull and bend it back pull bend it back pull bend it back okay so this is what your first layer now always make sure that apply the green tape yeah otherwise if you directly go for the second layer then that white thread will be visible in between so that is not a good practice so like this yeah as of now this much is enough now we are going to arrange the second layer take the green petals sorry the pink dark pink petals now the the second layer how we will start now i have two one and two two petals in between one and two i will start my i will place my second petal yeah okay okay 
so I'll go for this. In between one and two, I'll start the second one. Then again, same process from behind, second petal, tie it from behind third petal tie it then we will go for the fourth then the fifth petal and the sixth petal see now first inner circle had five petals outer circle one two three four five now some space is left why because outer circle is bigger than the inner circle so we need to have one petal extra so we'll have one petal extra yeah Yeah, so this is our uh, double layered lily. I arranged all the petals and I'll apply green tape now. Hold it like this, wrap it around like this. Even if little like white thread is visible a little, then it is okay because when we will spread the petals, it will not be visible. So that's fine. Again the same process, pull the petal, yeah, so this is our double layered lily, yeah. So if you like my uh, work, uh, the flowers and the flower making process, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I am happy if you give a like and if you have any questions or would like to um, give some comments, uh, you are free to put your comments in the comment uh, section and if you would like to share it, that is well and good. Thank you everyone.